Hey everybody, welcome to the commentary You're playing Aurelian Soul on my uh, high platinum slash low diamond account. Uh, wanted, haven't played an Aurelian Soul game on this account yet. Wanted to see what I could do. Um, I'm guessing I'll be able to roam a lot because I think that uh, people don't pay attention to the map as much. Just uh, compared to Grandmaster slash Challenger. Uh, I'm playing, okay, so they have a Fiddlesticks. We have a Shaco. Shaco definitely pretty good at ganking compared to Fiddlesticks. When Fiddlesticks is 6, that's going to be kind of annoying for me. So I, I will be going Merc Treads this game. I already have Legend Tenacity. They have a Snare. This guy CCs. He deals magic damage. You can't really stop the CC because it's a knockup. Uh, this magic damage, magic damage. So um, definitely helps out versus these guys as well. Varus deals some magic damage as well, remember. so um, Rumble, I think, should be a pretty... Bad matchup for Aurelian Soul, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure that if you play Rumble correctly, you should be able to just not die. Um, you you deal a lot of damage. So if I ever trade versus him early on, he should win, in my opinion. Especially because you get to go uh, Doran Shield. So okay, so he's not even stepping up. So I'm just gonna get the first shove under tower here. Getting first shove is always nice for like I can look for deep vision. I can uh. Like, he's not looking to Q-trade me or anything. I don't know if he has Q there. Okay, he did. So, I think that he should have Q'd me there, by the way. Just walk up a little bit, Q me, uh, and just torch me just a little bit. Yeah, like that, like that. Of course, he stayed a little bit too long, so I'm just going to get some auto-attacks off on him there. Remember, Rumble can't auto-attack me, but I can auto-attack him because I'm melee versus range, so... Despite me still taking damage from him, I still wanted to, uh... Get some back on him. I am taking attack speed runes for anybody who's wondering. The attack speed means that auto or last hitting is easier, and also uh, the just being able to get one extra auto attack normally means that. Um, wow, that was a bad Q by me. That was really really bad. That was okay. I need to move this potion. I don't keep my potions on one. I keep mine on two. So whatever your preference you are. Um, We see Shaco just put down a ward for me topside, so I'll probably play towards that side just now. Okay, whenever he uses his Q, that's a time for me to step up, by the way, where I can play, you know, right next to my creeps. He's gonna get some more auto attacks off on him. Uh, he's not using his E ever, which is kind of weird. I'm gonna put a ward bot side here, just because we already have a ward topside, so now we have both sides uh, warded. I, I will get first push here, which means that maybe I can help my Shaco um, get the Scuttle Crab. That's that, I'm hoping that he goes for the Scuttle Crab here. So I'm going to start rotating to the river to see if I can find Phil Sticks. Because if I do, he'll fight me, but I'll have my Shaco here with me. So now just take, the, take this. Perfect. This was completely fine. So I helped my jungler get that. By the way, if I didn't rotate first, we would have never gotten that. Um, so now he's trying to loop on me, I'm pretty sure. So that's why I'm playing towards this side. Oh, he's just running across mid. Yeah, okay. He's going for the scuttle crab top side now. Oh, I'm going to have to flash. He has some pretty crazy damage when he actually lands everything. Unless he's just taking raptors right now. Yeah, he just took raptors, so... That's just gone. Hopefully this guy doesn't get too far behind. Looks like they're not diving me, thankfully, because I could have gotten dove there, possibly. I really want to reset here, so I'm going to try to shove very quickly and not die to this guy. Okay, so I think that that should be fine. Even if he tries to freeze it, I'll be back mid so quick with my E, so it shouldn't really matter. And he can't shove in the next wave very quickly, so it's all good. So we will just go for the... Dark Seal buy with boots. The boots allow me to just move faster. I'll bulldoze them into Merc Treads. I'm going to use my E here just to make it so I get back to lane quicker because I don't want to miss too much CS. Top lane died. 
Um, that's very bad because he had ignite there and still died. Um, bot lane got a kill with the Shaco gank, so that's doing pretty okay down there. You can- uh, you don't have smite. What a bummer. Damn, dude. I would have helped him, uh, take that raptor there, but without smite, he can't really do anything. Aurelian soul damage is not very high versus certain champions that have, like, very, like... I can't dodge Rumble's damage. It's not possible. You know, if I'm playing versus Orion or Cinder, maybe I can dodge their Q or something, but I can't do that versus this champion. So... the fuck? Oh, thank god. My god, dude. That's what I'm talking about. This matchup's <laughs> fucking hard, man. He deals so much damage compared to me. But if I can get, uh... Okay, he messed up. He got impatient. I guess he just wanted to kill me really bad. You know, sometimes surviving is a play itself. <laughs> because people will get frustrated with you surviving and do stuff like that. I didn't do anything to prep that. That was just a huge mistake by him and I just didn't panic, didn't have to, like I just stun him and run away with my phase rush and I'm alive. Didn't do anything special. Okay, Fiddlesticks is level 6 now. I'm gonna rush Merc Treads. I'm not really gonna play to beat this Rumble. I actually still think I can't really beat him without a gank. So I think that what I'm gonna do is go Merc Treads. This will make it so hopefully if I get ganked by Fiddlesticks, I'll be able to survive it because I'll have Legend Tenacity plus the Merc Treads. So hopefully that the fear doesn't last too long and I'll be able to quickly phase rush away. Um, plus, I, I'll just continue building. Like, I should not have a kill right now. So, I mean, I wouldn't be able to build, build these earlier, which is kind of nice. So, the only other thing that I could have bought there was a blasting wand, which probably would have not been worth it. Okay, fiddlesticks is bot side. Oh, fuck. Oh no. I think they're good. Don't know. Oh my god. Are you really just walking in there, dude? No. <laughs> okay. She's fine. Holy shit, dude. I won't be able to do it. I won't be able to do it. I won't be able to do it. I won't be able to do it, dude. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out of here. Holy shit. Ah, uh, Was there any way that we could have done that better? Vayne needed to condemn the fiddlesticks, but did maybe I think she didn't have an angle, which is bad. Like, Because he was stunned against a wall, but I think maybe the wall wasn't the perfect angle, so... Okay, we're just gonna grab that cannon and back off. Let's go for an amp tome here. Uh, Rumble used his ult. Fiddle Fid has ult. Um, say that out loud. So hopefully, some people reading chat still know that you know it is completely possible to still die to this guy. <clears throat> we'll just head back mid lane and catch our wave that. We need to catch. Top lane is still doing very poorly, so we, we definitely need to somehow... I want to try to help him. Because Kled is a champion that just goes in. I think it is still possible for us to actually kill top lane. I think it's not doomed up there yet. Fuck! He roamed! Oh my god, I didn't ping that. I'm sorry, dude. Ah, this guy's doing this, though. So I'm gonna be late. To going top. Nice. Mid is really low plates, so... Or, like, really low HP for that one plate, I mean. So I kind of want to get that. So rather than going top here, probably just go for the plate. 
Let's auto it. Got it. You can just back shake out. It's all good. Oh, Fiddlesticks is top. This guy is so boned. Unless he somehow ultis out. It's like the only way. I think I need rallies before I really want to fight this. What? What? He was 0 2 though. Oh, fuck. Dude, please. Okay, thank god he died. That's fine. We got the kill on the guy. Wait, he survived too. Huh. <laughs> you know, I honestly... I, I'm really wondering how he died and survived. Like, or killed the fiddlesticks and survived. <laughs> That's crazy. No. Oh, Fiddlestick still has ulti, so I guess that's that's one part of huh? No, is she going to be able to survive here? Oh! This is huge if, if she can survive. Nice. Uh, can I even get this Nautilus? No, probably not. Whatever. I'll just ch poke this guy. That's all I got. I can't kill him or anything. The Rumble's going to be heading back mid, and you saw how fast he is, so. Oh, man. He died bot. Bummer. What the fuck, dude? No, kill the... Oh, I think he should've just killed the Nautilus there. Damn. What a prediction about knowing where I'm going. Nuts. Oh, nice. Well played. Well played by Shaco. Okay, I have my, um, Rylize here. So at least I have that. You know, if I can just make it to Zhonya's plus Landry's, then I think we're in a really good situation to be able to carry the game. Until I get that, I'm not feeling very confident. Just because I, I die very quickly to a lot of different champions. In a 1v1, it's very hard to kite the rumble because I'm pretty sure my kite range is the same exact range as his flame spitter. So he's just going to be using his Q on me the entire time. That's the thing. No, dude. No. Oh, wait. Yes. Yes? Nice. Dude, this guy, man, this champion's just overtuned. Hello? <laughs> Wait, I thought he was dead for sure. Dude, if I was like set and I'm like 20% HP and I get hit by a Clud Q, I swear I was going to die. That would be. <clears throat> I'm going the safe way back. Yeah, I, I knew something like that was going to happen, man. I was afraid that maybe Fiddlesticks and Rumble was over here, but they weren't. Oh, wait, was this a rock ulti that saved him? Hmm. Oh man, I don't have my Q here. I'm gonna start heading bot lane because our guy just died. I'm wondering if they will overstep trying to kill Soraka here. That'd be really cool. Rumble is doing scuttle crab right now. I think I'm not going to be able to stop him, so I'm just going to head back mid. I can check this if this is pinked. I'm wondering, maybe it's warded here and that's how they knew I was rotating that other time. I just thought about that. The only time that I can really fight this guy is when he overheats himself, but he doesn't do it very often. Seems mostly when I'm not there. My CS this game is pretty okay still. Nautilus is missing from bot side, so probably don't want to fight mid. I still want to just get my item, the uh, 
Probably a haunting, guys. Could also just build stopwatch now, I suppose. That wouldn't be too bad. I wonder how, how's our scaling? I mean, okay, Vayne will definitely outscale Varus in a way, but Varus will almost always be useful in being able to, like, probably almost one-shot the, uh... Dude. I'm pretty sure that you guys are just walking over Scuttle Crab. There's no way that this should work. Wait, what? Okay, I missed that, but whatever. Nice. I just messed up like so many different things there, but it still worked out, so I don't care. Also, I don't know how the rumble just died. <laughs> I just saw that he was dead, that was it. Like, the set came down to, like, dive him or something. No idea what happened, but thanks, set. Appreciated. I wanted to keep going for the fight extremely hard just because, uh... I knew that there was... Okay, so... Fiddlesticks died. He's dead. Nautilus, uh... Has, he can't do anything when he's near all of us. There's literally no way for him to do anything, so... I knew that I should just uh, flash over the wall and follow him when he flashes away, just to finish him off. Uh, I looked at the thing over here. Make sure that you're knowing, you know, if Rumble was maybe alive, maybe I wouldn't go as hard, but I saw that he was dead, so... I'm always paying attention to, like, even people that aren't on my screen. The only person that I probably was not on my mind was uh, Kled, which would have been seen with through a TP or I would hear him come. Dude, set. Hello? He's nuts. Okay, maybe I can go bot here. Yeah, we can we can do this. We can do this. I got him. I still have my uh, Zanya's available here. That wasn't too bad. I mean, I'm getting pretty fed, and I'll feel confident with being able to carry if I get fed, so. I'm just gonna clear this ward out. I, I'll just grab this bot wave, because I'm already here. I think it's better than running mid. Where is it? It's like, probably coming. I also have, uh... I'm extremely close to getting my Landry's, which is going to be huge for next fight. I want to fight around this dragon. That's why I'm going bot side as well. I don't really care about Rift Heralds, except for during the early game, where uh, you can still get platings. I'm not the type of player that plays around it. I just go for the dragons. Plus, it's Ocean Dragon Soul, which is crazy good for us. Uh, Fiddlesticks has ulti here. God, my Qs this game are fucking awful, dude. Honestly, my Qs are so bad. Okay, I got him. But it's all working out. A uh, few things there that were on my mind. Number one, we didn't see Kled immediately ulti, so I'm, I'm always thinking about, what, okay, if if Kled did ulti on me, I would have Zanyad. I have that. Um, I was worried about Fiddlesticks because I knew he was nearby. I was worried about being over this wall, but actually we saw him ulti on the vein, so that was all okay. I, I don't care if like she gets ultied. I care about myself because I feel confident that I'll be able to win the team fight if I play around these things. I mean, you should always be doing that. If you can get away from certain ultis, then you should be playing around it, right? 
So I know that there's big game changing ulties that they have. Firstly, Rumble used ulti, that's down. He flashed over the wall, by the way, like over here, and that's why he got on top of us. I started running away just because I needed to get away from the damage because I was starting to take a ton of damage. I was like, oh shit, if I get too low here, there's a possibility that maybe like I just won't be able to come back into the fight. So I wanted to get away from all the damage. Varus was like focused on somebody else. So that means I could walk up to him. Uh, saw Fiddlesticks ulti in, wait for Fiddlesticks ulti to time out. Try to Q him, missed my Q. And then I just used my ulti to help finish off the Varus, who was super low from the set. So... That's what happened around me. I know Nautilus was also there, but he didn't use any spells on me, so... I didn't really care about him. I just knew that he was there. You know, it, with support champions, the only thing they need to focus on is, like, are they ulting me, or, are they, or is he running up to Q me, or is he looking to auto-attack me or something? That's it. That's literally all you have to think about for them, because all they have is a crowd control depending on their champion. For Soraka, they need to think about how to kill her, but for everybody else, ugh, man, I actually really want to fight this guy, but at the same time, like, Pled is a really, really, really annoying champion. Wait, dude, you have so much money. Why did you not even buy components? Just sell, like, one of these. Yeah, wait, this guy has so much money. All right, maybe we can look for a long-range Q now to try to open up the game even further. I'm up so much CS on this guy. He was doing really good with roaming, but wait a second. Dude! As soon as I saw him go in that, like that, I was like, fuck. No, dude. No, we're not gonna be able to do it. I'll just back off. It's not possible. Oh man, they got Baron. That's huge. I didn't even, dude, whenever I play against Fiddlesticks inside Challenger, nobody ever does Baron at 20 minutes. It always seems that Fiddlesticks just wouldn't, wasn't able to, like, tank it or something. I, I don't know, or, like, just didn't do, uh, didn't do enough damage or something. I mean, their team comp isn't even good for Baron. It's actually not. Like, the only person that could really do it consistently is, like, they have Blade of the Rune King here, which is pretty okay. Varus is bad at it. Rumble has, like, okay shred, and then just Fiddlesticks. Like, they don't, don't have shredding champions. No Kai'Sa, Aphelios. Like, none of that. Wow. Wow. Why is this guy trying to FF? Yo, good shit. Uh, probably should just leave here. Should be able to get out. Okay, this guy used flash. This guy used flash. I can come up. Yeah, sure. I'm on the way. I think you actually just win. Yeah. You're really strong. All he does was uh, just auto attack and then just wait for his thing to come out. His little... Uh, I don't know what it's called. His W. <laughs> his true damage thing. I'm gonna go for Zanya's next, I think. I don't need to finish Morello's. They don't have that much healing. We got, like, all of their Barons except for, like, I think, um, this guy. So we should just play for this and just go for Soul. Oh man, I actually want to build the, uh, Magi so bad, but... Walk over. Yeah, I'm coming, dude. Nice. Um, we need a vision to make sure that Fiddlesticks is not nearby. Also, I'm surprised that my ulti didn't stop Fiddlesticks when he ultied over the wall. That was kind of sad. Uh, if this rumble comes this way, I'm gonna fight him. Okay, he's not. I have my E to go mid, but I'm a little bit worried that maybe the fight will break out and be done right before I can even arrive. I'm pushing out bot lane because it's going to give us a good opportunity to uh, hopefully make somebody go bot lane here. Yo, nice poke on the that guy. Nice. That's actually huge. We should have started it, by the way. Th we have really good vision control, so we should see them if they rotate in pretty easily. 
Nice. Very, very good, guys. I dodged it. Oh, that's not gonna work. Well, we got Varus ulti out, I guess. I could have ulted there, I suppose. It would have stopped me, though, because it is a channel time. Now I'm worried about the Phil Six once again. I mean, if Vayne dies, it doesn't really matter. She's 1 in 7. I think the players that need to survive are the top 3. So if Fiddlesix sacrifices himself, normally Fiddlesix goes for like a 1 one for 1 if people aren't grouping. If people are grouping, then obviously he can do a big play, but we're not grouping, so. Yeah, I'm so close to my Hourglass. I want it so bad. I'm almost level 16 as well, which would be huge. Oh, nice. I still got it. Okay, I need 100 gold. Also, I think I could fight Kled Bot. Also, Set could probably fight Kled as well. Kled is actually pretty weak. We can also just go for Soul Wincon. If if people are playing so passive to the point that they're not even going to like try to engage us or like do stuff versus us, you could always just play for the objectives that you've been stacking up from winning earlier, you know? And this is inside a winning game scenario. If you're losing, by the way, you should probably try to force something somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to go buy my Zonis now. No. Uh, soon. Okay, I'm level 16 now, so I have a big ulti. Let's see how much damage it does. It does about... 550-ish damage. That's okay. It's not the best. There's a lot of bigger ultis in League of Legends than Aurelian Souls. Oh, now it does uh, 600. 600 damage. Not bad. Oh, okay. He won Hex Drinker. I'm looking at, like, MR items. This guy's going MR now as well. These two still have no magic resist whatsoever, so... No, they can't rush it again. We'll know this time. The last time was a fluke. <clears throat> so, we'll be we'll be ready next time for it. Good old six won't bot. Interesting. Interesting. We need pinks. Okay, got his flash. The reason why I went for that is because Fiddlesticks was bot side there. Oh no, dude. You dove really, really fucking deep. Bummer. Okay, get get mid shoved, get mid shoved. Whenever a bad play happens, then you should shove out the waves to try to force the enemy team to go for waves rather than do the objective. This also gives you an opportunity to look for angles that are a lot easier to actually go for. I'm just gonna poke and then back off. I just want him to demount, that's it. If he demounts, this is good, because now they can't do Baron. They shouldn't be able to, in my opinion. I'll come in with Zhonya's and be able to stop it. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. There's no way that they can do it now. I'm gonna go buy my item. They're not gonna do it, dude. They're not. Buy my Magi's for the uh, movement speed boost because I have a uh, 10 stacks on it. I'll go fix bot lane because the set has no TP, so I guess it's just... Dude, I really doubt that they're on it. Yeah. Because we saw Fiddlesticks was topside. They would already be on it if they were gonna do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm coming, dude. I have my E, so now they started it. Takes them a while, right? Play for the fight, play for the fight. This is going to be a huge Q, by the way, I think. The reason why I knew that was going to be a good Q is because there's certain angles with Aurelian Soul. Actually, it doesn't matter. if Whenever people are doing objectives versus Aurelian Soul, all you have to do is uh, do a long range Q. I, okay, so how, I guess I haven't talked about this, maybe inside like old Aurelian Soul videos, but if you want to do the Aurelian Soul Q, firstly, you start the Q 
not when you're mid E. You start it before you use your E. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go grab my blue. I could have liked helped my team push, but I'm hoping that they can just get it on their own. That was that was troll. I probably should have rotated. I got 25 stacks now, by the way. Holy shit. Um, but anyways, you use it before you use your Q before you use your E. So it's in front of you like this. So it's in front of me. And then right when it's reaching about its peak right here, I press my E the same exact direction. It will never go faster than you. It keeps up with you. So that means it's in front of you rather than on top of you. So many Aurelian souls use their E and then they use their Q, which actually makes it so it's just, it's bad. <laughs> it, you want the Q in front of you. So then it's harder for them to stop you. Uh, you are further away from the danger because you're putting yourself into the danger. The Q is not that big. Um, like, in terms of range so you're still going to be super close to it because the center is still going to be inside the center no matter what so i'm going to be like right in like the whole entire battle when my q is going to be engulfing all of them right so uh now we have ocean dragon soul i got a blue pot i have like so much ap i have flash ignite i have the zhonyas i'm ready to basically end the game with this one fight i am super ready i literally have full build also, the fiddle six is just dead. So I mean, now we can just play for a four v five win, which is great. So I'm gonna look for a uh, Q here from this angle near the tower. Should be uh, harder for them to uh, stop it. So I use my Q first. I wasn't even looking because I just know that it's coming out, and then I could just look for an angle like this. This is huge. So I'm just gonna be able to kill everybody here. A lot of people, when it's 4v5, will still try to defend towers when they shouldn't. Whenever you die like that, you need to give up these towers. You can maybe defend these. Don't defend... What are these? Inner towers. So these are the inhibitors. These are the inner. These are the outer. If you defend the inner towers, normally you'll get dove because it's 4v5. In this case, the fiddlesticks died, right? Uh, that happens all the time. Inside lower elos, I would say. Because it that used to be a thing... Like, everybody... Wish I could get a better team like Asol. Yeah, true, dude. True. I mean, we already knew that our champion versus his is bad early on. And he got some good roams, and honestly, I, I didn't ping it out. So, I mean, he played pretty well, but he was too trigger happy on his ulti. Uh... And his, some of his, like, ulti should have probably been waiting for Fiddlesticks. He was always trying to be the engager for his team, which was the problem. Like, I think the real turning point of the game was the dragon play, where, like, Fiddlesticks uh, ulti the vein solo, and I just killed everybody else. I think that was the issue. So. Oh, shit, he's gonna be toxic. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary, though. Uh, we did. i surprised I didn't do most damage there. I'm actually shocked. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary, and I will see you guys next time.